Lyme disease in Europe, part 3. Lyme disease, stage 2. You have been bitten by a tick. It takes 4 to 14 days for a red circular mark or a bullseye mark to appear. A bullseye mark is a mark with a red center and a ring around the center. The space between the red center mark and the ring is pale, not red. Infection can start from a week after the bite to three weeks after the bite. In the worst case scenario, you may be infected before the mark even appears. Lyme disease is divided into three phases. This is really because when Lyme disease was first identified, the disease that was already known but seemed closest to it was syphilis. This was because the bacterium in both cases was a spiral bacteria like a stretched spiral or coil when you look at it in the microscope. In actual fact, the Lyme bacteria genetically is a far more ingenious and complicated bacteria than the syphilis bacteria. Another important difference is that the syphilis bacterium reproduces every 20 minutes, while the Lyme bacterium reproduces every 8 hours. An antibiotic stops an infection by killing the bacteria when they reproduce. Syphilis bacteria reproduce quickly, so it is killed off very quickly. On the other hand, the Lyme bacteria reproduce slowly. Lyme is therefore killed off very slowly. If it takes two weeks to kill a syphilis bacterium infection, it would theoretically take several years to kill off a Lyme bacteria infection. At first doctors thought this can't be true, it can't take that long. But most informed specialist doctors are now agreed that some cases do take years to cure if they are at stage 2 of the infection. This division is rather theoretical as there are no sharp lines between stage 1 disease and stage 2 or between stage 2 and stage 3 but these divisions are stuck. Stage 2 may be described as the stage when the bacteria has left the skin around the bite and has started to move through the body. If you got to a doctor more than four weeks after a bite and you then had the bullseye or EM as, as it is called then the disease has started to disseminate through your body. You are not alone in getting to a doctor too late. On average people get to a doctor three weeks after a bite. This may be a result if you are not knowing about Lyme disease or because you are travelling abroad or because quite simply you only notice the ring after having been there for a while. Or you may not get an appointment with the doctor. Your doctor may want blood samples for tests, which further delay treatment. In Sweden, following a medical board case of permanent paralysis, a doctor must treat first and take blood samples afterwards. A tick will often bite under the forearm or under the upper arm, and not many look at themselves there. If it bites on the genital area, you may also miss it because you just can't see down there. If you are bitten in the hair, you would not notice the ring. Sometimes an infected bite leaves no mark, 
so that it is clearly hard to detect unless you actually saw the tick. Small baby ticks, which are called nymphs, are like tiny spiders. They move very fast and can be hard to see. When they bite, they are often a yellow-brown color, which is hard to see, and they look rather like a small outgrowth of skin. They often lie flat on the skin and don't stick upwards, which also makes them hard to see. The signs that an infection has started to spread are many, and I will start with possibly the most dangerous. That is one where an infection has started from around the head and has entered the meninges or the brain itself. The meninges are the casement of material that covers the brain. One sign of infection here is a dreadful headache. You may think you have had bad headaches, but this one, like seasickness, makes you wish for an immediate departure from this life. You may get a stiff neck so that you cannot bend your head forward. This happens now and again for quite normal reasons, but after a bite you should dis consider this as a sign that the infection has spread to your head. Another sign is a one-sided alteration in feeling in your shoulder or a limb. This may be a slight trembling in your fingers or it might be a total loss of feeling in the leg. You may find sudden rashes appearing on your body, especially near where you were bitten, though not always. People are often bitten several times at once but miss some of the bites. These rashes can have all sorts of shapes and colours as they are the result of the infection moving through the outer or peripheral layer of skin. You may see small spots of red appearing as though a snake has bitten you. These spots take ages to go away. They do not itch or bleed. These are a result of the infection rupturing or breaking the skin vessels near the surface of the skin. One of your feet may become inflamed and red or blue or bluey red. If this is under the sole of your foot then this may itch and a layer of skin may fall off. You may feel very tired. If you are very active you may suddenly feel that everything takes an enormous amount of energy where before you could do it without thinking. This is similar to the symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome or my myalgic encephalopathy. ME just means muscle illness and has no known cause. Some feel, and I am one of these, that chronic fatigue syndrome is often an undiagnosed case of Lyme disease. You may find bright lights disturbing so that you cannot drive at night or go into a store with overhead lighting. Your face may start to be paralysed on one side. This may be hard to see at first, as it may be taken as stiffness, but it is a side of stage two. Lyme disease. Before Lyme disease was identified, such cases were called Bell's palsy. Any new symptoms should therefore be treated as a sign that you have stage 2 Lyme disease. At stage 1 you have a, what, you have a 2 in 3 chance of being cured. At stage 2 Lyme disease you have a 1 in 3 chance of being cured. 